Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today we're gonna work with triangles and blend tool. And of course, there's a very important thing like how to centralize the inner this inner triangle, you know, right in the center there. So usually when I scale down a triangle, this is the center. You can hit this right here, like vertical align center, and it's perfect, you know. But optically speaking, this is the right way where you should be like, sent, you know, in the center. But if I hit vertical align, then it's gonna ruin it. So I need to find the perfect spot. So I'm gonna show you that also. But if it happens for you that you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's go. So first thing, I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna recreate this stuff again. We're gonna switch here. We're gonna press X or shift X sorry so we can switch it to stroke or you can press uh, this little arrow thing all right and now we're gonna create the triangle from this star so we're gonna select the star tool you also can select the star tool from uh, this menu where you can find the shapes we're gonna press shift plus alt and uh, make the star you want to release it you're gonna hold it like this click it hold the click and we're gonna re release the shift and alt and now we're gonna press the down arrow on your keyboard basically the down arrow is uh you know when you're playing video games uh, with cars that's the break so we're gonna press it two times that's the minimum you can press you can press it more times or the upward key basically adds more spikes to it you know like look at that we want the minimum and that's gonna be a triangle now I'm gonna press shift to isolate it perfectly because I if I don't press shift it's gonna go all over the place and we want it uh, a perfect horizontal version release it from here we are gonna create a copy so press ctrl C or oh, sorry press ctrl C and then ctrl F and then that way you're gonna create a copy or you can file edit oh yeah there you go you're gonna press copy here and you're gonna paste in front you also can paste it in black it doesn't matter just paste it in front you paste it in front and you can see there's like two of them and now we're gonna scale it down press and hold shift plus alt and scale it down somewhere around this point so we got the second uh, triangle but the question rem remains like how the hell can I find you know the middle spot the perfect spot somewhere around there so the first thing you can do that's the most easiest thing you can separate this so you know exactly where to align you know this middle thing and you also can press all of them and press this like horizontal align center and you're gonna align it perfectly and as you can see it's perfectly aligned there but I don't know where to pull this you know I don't know how to find this spot and the half 50% of this in here so what I usually do is go to actually you just need to do it once and this is the 30 degree I gonna do, I gonna go to the edit preference and smart guides I'm gonna click it here you can see the smart guide options you can see a lot of stuff going on basically where you need to type in is this you also can select like 90 degrees 45 we got the 30 degree angle so basically this the half of this is th uh, 30 degree angle uh, what I usually do is like customize this stuff I need because once I needed like 120 45 90 degree 90 degree is like you need to have it there I don't know what is this I I also have that too but I gonna type in I have another bracket here I'm gonna type in 30 click OK and now from here I'm gonna delete this one because I don't need it I'm gonna bring this out um, and press the pen tool you can find it right here we'll press the P and click it here just click here and as you can see if I zoom in they're like already a hundred and thirty five degree because I uh, typed that in back in the days but if you move this it should no it didn't damn 
I gotta create it separately right here. Oh yeah, it's okay now it's on. Like not you can see here is like 45. But why is not okay? Wait. So the thing is like it's calculating this triangle also if you're creating something around this point, you know, or this point. If I make something around this point, you're gonna, you know, it's not, it, it's uh, not comparing with this, it's not, it, basically it is not calculating with this uh, triangle or whatever shape is going on there. So right now it's an empty space in here, no forms and shapes, it's just me, myself and this line. So this is the, it should be somewhere around here and it's not appearing again, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna scale out, so this is one. Anyways, I'm gonna create it again. Okay, you can see 45 and 30. So we got the 30 and we should go with the 30 like this. Okay, I'm gonna press Shift plus Alt to scale this up. And the stroke basically gonna remain the same and we're gonna bring this here, right in there. And as you can see, we got a perfect split. Okay, we're gonna select this, we're gonna press O, or we can select the Reflect tool and press and hold Alt from here. Press and hold Alt and click on this anchor point, okay? And uh, select Vertical and then click Copy. So right now you can find a perfect uh, center point in there where you can bring basically the triangle. You know, it shouldn't go here. It should go, you know, these anchor points should uh, hit this uh, line, this uh, grid line. Right now it's not hitting perfectly, it's hitting differently because I always have the snap to pixel selected when I create a new file. It's annoying. So basically I'm gonna centralize as much as possible, gonna eyeball it a little more. From here we're gonna delete these. Uh, Boom, now we got it. Now we're talking, boys. Um, okay, from here we're gonna use this, uh, you know, what is that, the blend tool, but first we're gonna make this thicker, somewhere around nine-ish. This one is gonna be nine, select both, go to objects, blend, and make. From there we're gonna double click on blend tool, or you can select or you can press double V and press enter. Basically do the same thing or double click on the icon. Then press previews, select spe specify steps and increase the number of triangles until it's gonna look funky. Something around here. Okay, we got a nice triangle. I'm gonna make a copy out of it because I'm gonna show you like more tricks that goes into this triangle, like how you can manipulate the thickness of the line separately. So we got the triangle right here. We're gonna double click on the triangle. Uh, basically, basically you can't click these uh, other triangles, the inner triangles, because uh, their effects. These are the real triangles that we had previously. We're gonna double click this. As you can see, uh, I can now work separately with this triangle, I can work separately with this triangle. So you can do basically a lot of stuff. For example, I'm gonna press shift and rotate it. And uh, it's gonna rotate the whole thing. Rotate it down. Hmm. Interesting, never thought about this one. Okay. Uh, what you also wanna do, like if you don't like the stroke thickness, you can decrease it and you're gonna be consistent with the rest of the strokes. So basically this one is thin, here it's gonna make it slowly thinner and here it's gonna be the thickest. So as which one you like most, I'm gonna go with 9. And uh, you know to release this, you, you, you can pr uh, go back with this arrow like two times or you just double click on uh, on the artboard or whatever, or whatever. So we got this, we're gonna make another, actually I'm gonna expand it, go to object, expand, and we got this one. We're gonna make another copy 
and now another one basically you don't need to use shift plus alt or shift or alt or whatever actually the alt you need to use the alt to copy paste it so when you select it press and hold alt and then you can copy paste it like this all right so now we're gonna create the last triangle we're gonna pull this in in this zone we're gonna revert it like press shift and rotate this so right now we're in the right place um we're gonna double click on this and we're gonna make the same as thin as this one it's like one so we're gonna decrease it to one no oh it's expanded dude it's not good we're gonna delete this so see because i created like multiple steps i uh didn't work on the original file now i have a copy so i can bring this make another copy and adjust it I double click now and i can modify that to one this is why you must do copies with every steps now i'm gonna rotate this pressing shift i'm gonna put this in the place and there you have it there there's basically a box inside going on here and the triangle is making that box so yeah this is it uh, hope it helped thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye cut